What's up, sweet bone here, and today we're talking about incendiary buckshot. Yes, we are. Now, would you like to know where to find the hidden recipe to craft incendiary ammo for your shotgun? Of course you would. Of course you'd be mad not to. So, I was lurking around down in the bayou on a Saturday evening, as you do, as you do, uh, when I felt something. No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't that, it was something else. It was a loose floorboard. And I thought, hmm, what's in here? Now, why somebody would hide a recipe to create incendiary buckshot in the floorboards of an abandoned shack deep in the bayou is beyond me. But they did, and I found it. Hmm. Nice. Now, I know what you're saying. This guy sounds like Ricky Gervais, and I think he's probably homosexual. What? What? That's not what they're saying. Oh. Yeah, the map. The map. Copperhead Landing. This is where you need to go. Look. There, there, there. There, there. The shack. The shack at Copperhead Landing. And now, I don't know. This recipe may be available somewhere else, but that's where I found it. Um, and that's where I'm showing you where I found it. Now, they say to be forewarned is to be forearmed, but that doesn't necessarily apply in Red Dead Redemption 2. Because if you're carrying incendiary ammo, you don't need to be forewarned. You just need to pull the trigger. And the incendiary ammo will do the rest. As you can see. Mm, I like fire. Now, as everyone knows, before shooting, you must, you must have a clean weapon. What do you mean that sounds sexual? Yeah, I know, it's supposed to. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, clean weapon. Mmm, nice. Now, once you've got your clean weapon, you're ready to shoot, obviously, and if someone, say, for instance, witnesses you murder someone, and isn't minding their own business. Well, incendiary ammo does the job. Nice. Now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! Hey! There's enough fools out there deserve shooting, you know. What do you mean? I know it's you keeps killing innocent people. Ain't nobody innocent in this world, Miss Grimshaw. You know that. 